What is going on guys, it's Waffle here, and welcome back to some more Terraria. Now, last time we left off, we finally went over to the green dungeon and started, oh gosh, we started exploring it a little bit. Uh, unfortunately, didn't completely explore because my inventory kind of got full and we almost died and we kind of killed the, uh, the bound me mechanic over there as well. And at the end of the last episode, I was like, you know what? We really need to expand our house out of it, and you guys really agreed with me. Some of you guys were like, you know, you have like three or four, maybe like five NPCs that can move in, but, you know, there's just no room for them. So, definitely want to work on that here, you guys. And also, at the same time, work on the happiness with all the uh, NPCs as well. Now, just moments ago, before I hit that record button, uh, Raleigh came over here and uh, arrived as a traveling merchant. What do we have here? Birdie Rattle summons a baby harpy, not for your everyday cockatiel. What is this? Oh, like it's one. Wait, that's one platinum. Oh, gosh. I thought that was one silver right there. How much is that? 100 gold? How much do we have? We have 66 gold because, yeah, we spent a little bit of it. Sake. I don't think I want that. Code one. Whoa. That's a yo-yo that does. Ours does 20 damage. This one does 21 with 8% critical strike. Our current one does 13% trick, critical strike, fast speed, weak knockback, fast speed, weak knockback. I don't know what that weird symbol is right there. Uh, I don't know. I think that might be some weird glitch or something like that. But code one, is that good? I don't know. I'm like, it's five. Oh, what in the world? Master Gamer's Pants. Vanity item. I thought I could told you. I thought I told you to clean up your room. <laughs> is that? Are those just sweatpants or something? Can't really tell. Master Gamer's Jacket. Equipable vanity item. I thought I told you to clean your clean up your room again. Pod tie again. Revolver. Whoa. Ten, Twenty range damage. Thirteen percent critical. And and the fast speed weak knockback. How's it compare? Oh, we put it up, didn't we? Yeah, we had some sort of like pistol or something like that earlier. I guess we put it up. But seventeen range damage. Six range damage. This does twenty range damage. I'm kind of intrigued. Ten gold though. And this does birdie rattle. I assume it's really good. This baby harpy thing. But it's it's a hundred gold. I think right. And we have literally zero platinum right now, so... Man, can't afford that. He doesn't have the uh, life form analyzer thing that I'm really wanting to get, and that I can only really get from him. Uh, I also read that it's like apparently a really, really, really rare drop from mobs, if uh, if you want to get it that way. But, uh, you know, another way is from a traveling merchant, which this guy doesn't have, unfortunately. And it seems to be a roll of the dice every time these guys come by, like what they have, you know, so... All, all, all those seems like they do have a little bit of the same stuff every now and then as well with that like pod tie and the other stuff like that, you know, and like some random like dishware or something stupid. But either way, I have out my inventory a little bit uh, and I also placed down all the banners over here just because I'm like they're taking up some of the room in my structures chest over here and we had a lot of new structures uh, recently from the green dungeon. So I decided to, uh, you know, get rid of the banners, start putting them up as well as to be a little bit of a decoration, too. So there we go. Let's put up the wood, too, because I had to make an extra workbench. Anyways, this episode, what I'll do, this episode, what I want to do <laughs> is work on the happiness of my NPCs. So let's check up on each NPC again. I hate Slime of the Anglers, terrible personality. Yeah, I think Barney was one of them that we're going to keep. But Oten, we're going to build him a base along with, I think Oten is going to be with, what was it, the painter or was it the traitor, uh, die traitor or whatever. Mark of the painter has good eyes for vividness and Dante. So Dante, Marco, and the, the the die trader, I think I said I wanted to put them in the desert. And then Simon, Oten, and someone else. I wanted to, I guess maybe just Simon and Oten, maybe? I wanted to put like underground. Uh, I did read you guys' comments saying, hey, 25 blocks, where's the, uh, there's the ruler. 25 blocks away from other mobs, houses, and stuff is what you want to go for whenever you're doing the whole like, Thing. So our uh, our base over here for Zahn or whatever his name was is actually about 35 blocks from the nearest because uh, this is Emily's room right here, right? So this is pretty good. 35 blocks right there. Now, if I wanted to build Oten and Simon's base underground, like right there, like I was thinking about, that's 21. Okay, so we want to go a little bit deeper. So about right there, and that's going to be the top of their house, right? So I guess we'll throw some bombs or dynamite or something like that down there and kind of get that blown up a little bit and, you know, just make some room. And then, of course, figure out where. Uh, how do I turn this off other than just... Okay, I guess there's no, like, hotkey or whatever to turn on the ruler and stuff. But yeah, let's go down here and throw some heckin' bombs, shall we? Take out. Let's do it with dynamite, shall we? Yeah, you know what? We have a lot of bombs. There we go. Throw a few of these things down here. Just get some explosions going. Oh, yeah, you know what? Let's do a dynamite. That's, that seems a little bit too small there. Throw a few of them there. There we go. See this. 
Oh, is it? I think today. Oh, gosh. Nice. Nice. Really good explosions there. I think the, the day this going up on YouTube is going to be the 4th of July. So we've got some really good fireworks going on right now, you guys. Really cool. <laughs> Anyways. Yeah, this, this is way too big of a hole. So <laughs> I guess uh, we'll just play some torches. Oh, whoops. Torches around here. And uh, oh, whoops. Uh, there you go. Do this instead. Is that copper? Yeah, it's got to be copper. That's got to be either silver or iron. It looks like silver, although we're really close to the surface. I'd be surprised if that's silver, although. There might not be a limit on when uh, silver spawns in or whatever. But either way, about right here is where we want to build it, right? So, what should we build it out? Uh, I think... Do I still have some? Yeah, these things right here, Oten's, like, background? Let me check. I think I put it in blocks, didn't I? I have a little bit of the plank walls. I guess I can get rid of these walls back here and then... I don't know. Because I'm going to have to make... I don't think I could put, like, one person's... Like, one little room like this and, and put multiple people in it, right? So I think I'm going to have to basically build like a whole like two or three person house down there, right? So I guess maybe just starting out, we'll just make it out of stone or something like that, right? Yeah, and it already has a background, so I don't think it really matters too much. Oh, whoops, that was the wrong way. I wanted to get uh, more stone blocks right there. Nice. I guess if we do that and then we can get some like doors and stuff. Uh, is it is it possible to make like a stone door? I doubt you can. Am I next to a uh, there's the workbench right there. I'm not seeing a, like a stone door, so that sucks. But let's make a uh, wood door, a few of them. Like, uh, I don't know, let's just get a bunch of wood right there. Let's open up the this. Let's see, how many doors can I make? So there it is right there. Let's get like three, let's get like four. There you go, that should be good, at least for a start. And then uh, let's get some stone, there we go. And I forget exactly how big, eh, I'm not going to go fishing. I forget how, bi how big we need to make each of these, uh, these houses or whatever. I guess I can measure, right? We got the ruler out. Let's see. Now, how big did I make, say, my room? Because I think I think someone basically moved in there, right? Uh, oh, yeah, like the die trader or whatever. So let's see from here. So that's nine wide and OK, nine by five I th on the inside. Nine by five on the inside. So I'd be ten by, uh, I guess, six, because I guess the ground counts. So either ten by uh, or not 10, but uh, 11, because it's this wall and this wall, so it'd be 11. I guess I can measure it this way, right? Yeah, that's 11, and then uh, this would be 6, 7. So 11 by 7, either the minimum or whatever, but I know that works, so I'm, I'm probably going to make these down here 11 by 7 as well. Let's get rid of the ruler. Eh, you know what? Let's figure out how far down we need to go first, and then we'll build, I guess, the ceiling, so... Right there, that's 23, so I need to go down a couple more. So, uh, let's see. Oh, zoom in a little bit. So I built, uh, let's build some platforms here temporarily. So how far is this? Is this 24 or is this 25? This is 24. Okay, so we need to go down one more. So right there is where we're going to build the, uh, the roof, I guess, huh? Let's make sure. Zoom out a little bit. So that's 25. You know what? I might make it go down just a little bit just to be safe. You know what? Maybe I'll go down to like 30 just to be safe. There you go. Maybe I'll just go down to like 30 or something crazy. Oh, whoops. Eh. So if that was... If that was 25, 6, 7, 8, 9, 30. Okay, so if I did this, there you go. So that's going to be the roof there. We can get, uh, let go of that. There you go. And I guess just break this, right? Oh, can I? Not? Oh, there you go. I had to close my inventory. So this is going to be the roof right here. And I guess we'll just uh, make this go the whole width right here. So there you go. Then I have to break through the, uh, break through the roof. It has to be too wide, I think. Yep. And then we'll figure out how tall this needs to be. So that's six. So seven, this would be the ground right here. Yeah, okay, so let's do that. Let's place the ground right here. I think that has to be the ground. Is that right? Hold on. Man, let go of that. There you go. Uh, it's a little bit too tall. I guess I'll do this. Make it, there you go, like this. So this is how big the other room was. Vertically, that is. So there you go. Uh, you know what? If we have a path going down like this, like that, maybe I should build the houses this way. Although I could, uh, go that way. Hmm. I don't know. I guess I could have, like, some sort of, like, platform entrance or something like that into here. But for right now, let's just, uh, keep building these houses here. These, uh, these... Man, oh, I have to switch over to... I can't just click on it. Whoops. <laughs> but there it goes. This is as, uh... Why is that going to be? So that's 6, 7, 11. It has to be 9, like this. So I built one... Where I'm standing is a block, right here would be the end, right? Or at least on the inside. So right here is where I could build a wall. And then this is basically a house right here, right? I just have to place down the workbench and a t uh, chair 
a table slash workbench and a chair and a light or something like that. And that would count as an enclosure for these guys, I guess. Hmm. Yeah, you know what? Let me let me keep digging this way. Maybe I'll throw some Megan bombs this way. So, uh, oh, whoops. Uh, where's my bomb? There it is right there. Let's throw a bomb. Boop! Throw a bomb to the left. Yeah, I'm like, it's not really throwing it too far away. I really wish it would. Because I really want this slant to go down and then I could just have like doors or something like that. Oh gosh, yeah, that didn't really go up like at all. Holy heck. At least it's getting some job done. Uh, breaking some of the locks and stuff like that. You know, make it a little bit easier for me, right? So that's always good. There you go, got it on the ceiling right there that time. That's good. I think we're doing some pretty good uh, demolition right here. I bet Oten would be proud of us, huh? Oops, I accidentally just latched on right there. So how wide is this? Probably like one more. Probably like one more bomb is fine. And this would be big enough for Simon and... Uh, maybe one more at the top. There you go. This is probably going to be big enough for Simon and Oten. So let's uh, let's build their actual base on the inside of here real quick. Alright guys, back, and I just finished making the two rooms down here, and I think they're pretty good. Like, nothing too special, at least a good start. Of course, I also made the staircase right here, so it's easy for my- and I also smoothed this bit out right here, too. So it's easy for the NPCs to get in and out of this area if they need to, you know? So, that should be really good, but now all we need to do is, uh, I already pre-made the chairs and stuff. Uh, let's make a face that way. So now we have a new room right there. I wonder if we're gonna have anyone automatically move in right there. Uh... Let's see, where's the other oh, workbench? Let's place another one right here. And another chair. Is that really all I need? Because we have torches. We have the the other guy, uh, Zahn. He wanted, like, something else, though. I don't know what it was, though, but uh, let's move a couple NPCs over here now. So who? Uh, Simon the Angler, I think. Missing a wall. Doesn't it have a wall? It has a background, doesn't it? Uh, So I guess the dirt wall doesn't count. If that's the case, that's kind of weird. I thought it did, but uh, I'm like, I'm able to place torches and stuff like that, but I guess maybe dirt doesn't count as a wall, perhaps? So that's kind of weird. Uh, so if I if that's the case, I guess I'll have to get the hammer out. Either, uh, you know what, I don't have to do that. I have to, uh, let's see, what do I want to make a wall out of? I guess I can make it out of wood, at least for right now. There you go, there's a few of them, but, uh, so if I did this, how do I do this? Yeah, I have to get rid of the dirt first, man. All right, well, let's get rid of the dirt back. Or, oh, wait, how do I do this? Uh... Am I not able to get rid of the dirt background? Hold on, I was able to do this in the other guy's underground base. Am I really not able to here? Hold on, or maybe this hammer should be able to get rid of dirt, right? I guess not. Hold on. Oh, it is, but like, I have to go from here and then... That's very strange. I can only do it from the corners. So can I not build a base here? Yeah, I don't, I don't know if I can, you guys. I might have to make that background, I might have to break the dirt from this corner all the way down to there, and maybe that'll be good? And I'll be able to replace the backgrounds and stuff like that? That'd be good, hopefully. But, uh... Yeah, see, look at that, I can't, I can't dig it there. Oh, wait, yeah, I can't dig it there, but I can do it here, so I guess if I just keep trailing this over here... Perhaps I'll eventually be able to break the background over here. Yeah, there you go, so now I can break the background over here. That's so weird. I don't know why I'm not able to do that, so weird. Anyways, uh, let's just break the background. And, uh, get rid of every bit of dirt background here, and then of course I guess place wood or something like that, and in that, in that case I guess I'll have to place down, uh, or craft even more wood background, so let me just, uh, get rid of all the dirt backgrounds. I'm saying backgrounds a lot now. Let me get rid of all the dirt backgrounds for both of these rooms we built over here. And I'll see you guys here in just a bit where we're going to replace them all with wood. And hopefully the game is going to detect that this is a, like a sanctuary for these NPCs. And maybe we're going to automatically get like that mechanic or someone over here as well as any other NPCs you guys said uh, we're going to move in once we actually had enough room. So let me just continue getting rid of all these walls over here and I'll see you guys here in just a bit. All right, guys, back. I didn't realize I already had a bunch of wood walls, so let's just grab these and let's start placing them down over here, shall we? And you know what? I'm going to get rid of the workbench and the chair. That way I have a little bit of control over who can move in over here, and hopefully it doesn't move in, like, the mechanic or whoever else before I can... Eh, I guess it doesn't make a difference, does it? Like, I'll just, I'll just move them if that's the case. Back to, uh, to the other... Like, Oten's old room or Simon's old room or whatever, but, uh, there you go. And I... Guess whoever's going to be able to move in here in just a moment is going to move into this bottom room first, because this one still has the uh, the workbench right there. So, place down all the walls, finish it up, and hopefully it's going to be good. Boom! There you go. Now, is it detecting that this is good, and that an NPC can move into here? 
Maybe. Hold on. Let me do this. Let me list down the face that way. There you go. So let's let's go to this housing thing. Let's go to Simon Lee. Let's put him down there. Okay, yeah, look at that. That worked. And where's Oten? There he is right there. Oten the demolitionist. So now we've got that going. So are they okay with this now, or can I talk to them and they'll still they'll be like, oh yeah, I like it now. Let me see happiness. Well, I don't feel like exploding today. Hey, that's good. Simon, what do you have to say about this? Oh, and the demolitionist actually knows what they're doing. Unlike other people, I kind of like that. That's good. So we have both of them together right now, which is good. Now we need to get you, the die trader, and Marco, the painter, Dante, the arms dealer, and also Emily wanted to be actually out. Yeah, I guess, I guess it doesn't matter. Like, I could probably have the die trader and Marco, the painter, both together, like in the desert. But he doesn't have to have Dante, maybe? Like, it, I, I don't know if it requires Dante to be there, because remember, Emily wants to be with Dante, and Dante wants to be with Emily as well, so... I don't know if it, if they mentioned a specific location, I guess I could talk to Dante real quick. Uh, nope, that was Oten. Let's go talk to him. Uh, I think Emily and the nurse... Yeah, it doesn't say anything about a location. It just says he doesn't like doing deals here, I guess there's too many people around, perhaps. Let's see what Emily says. It's like the, uh... Yeah, I, th I think I think her and Dante needs to be together, and if if that's the case, it doesn't it doesn't matter where they are. I guess if we could just build them, like kind of like what we did with Zon. Oh, look at that! Simon's going down to his new base. I guess if we do with the what we did with Zon, and build his, I guess their house, Emily and uh, whatever. I guess we could build it over here, perhaps. So it'd be twenty five blocks slash tiles. Oh yeah, this is more than enough. We could put it like probably like right on this uh, this little hill right here, honestly. So yeah, look at this. It's like thirty ish right here, and then from here. So from here to the right is good. So I could build... Do I have a little bit of wood right now or something? Uh, I guess I could put a dirt block here. Kind of mark the... Uh, oh, whoops. Oh, wait! Callista the Dryad has arrived! So what is a Dryad? I've heard Kyle talk about that a while. Is this a sapling or an acorn or whatever? I think I... Okay, that's good. I got rid of it right there. So I need to go see who this Dryad person is, what this Dryad person is, because I don't actually know what that is. <laughs> But, uh, what was it, five tall or six tall? I th think it was five tall, because I think I thought seven for the entire height. So I think from here. This is, I'm not going to make it out of clay, this is just kind of a temple. Oh, is that a gold? Okay, that's a goldfish, but it's not a gold, goldfish, right? So I, I, I don't think I need, need to catch him. But, uh, there you go, get rid of three. There you go, and place down a door. All right. So this is 25 blocks, right? Here to there. I guess that's 26, but here is 25, so that's good. So that's 25 blocks between. Hopefully that's uh, that's good in that regard, but now we need some wood, which I'm like, hey, look at this. We're right in front of a couple trees. Oh, what in the world is that? An orange or is that a peach or what is that? I are two uh, goldfish up here. I'm like, it is raining, but uh, that was a grapefruit. What in the world? That's interesting. Let's get rid of these uh, dirt slash clay or whatever. Who's that on the roof? Is that the, oh man, I got rid of the door. Hold on. That might be the dryad I saw right there, you guys. So right here, let me place down the Sebastian the Clo Clothier is here now. Hold on, let me uh. There we go. So I should probably replace. Where in the world? So let's see. Oh, is that him up there? Hold on. I think yeah, I think the dryad and the clothier are on top of our house right now, you guys. Where's the there? It is right there. Sheesh, I don't know why I wasn't able to see it right there, you guys. That was crazy. There you go. So now we've got wood over here. So how wide does this have to be? Like, nine? So it would be... About two. Okay, about about to that berry bush right there. So there we go. And, uh, so this... I guess I could do a two-story sort of thing. Is this wide enough? No, one more. So get rid of that sapling right there. Or whatever that thing was. And I'll probably make this a two-story house right here. Just just because I kind of like the, uh... Oh, whoops, I'm placing down platforms now. I kind of like... Just serving some space over here, you know. I don't, I don't want it to take up too much space, and I do like this little, little step right here that's going on right now, you know. So right here, and then we could do it on the door. There you go. And then uh, probably like, yeah, let's do it on this side. There you go. So it be like that, and then we place some platforms there. So that would be number six. Oh, it's already on number six. Nice. So there you go. I wonder if uh, Simon and them are able to jump up this high. Hopefully. So if we do that, we already have walls on our hot bar right now, which is good. But do we have enough actual wood? I think maybe. B6, is that good? I think so. And then let's remember we could do windows and stuff too, so there you go. So now this is too tall right here. Let's place down some uh, some backgrounds here, and then let's move Emily and Dante into this new cabin that we're kind of building right here. I'm liking it. 
And then what we need to do is go over to the desert, over to where our Hecavator is, you guys are calling it. Well, you guys aren't calling it, but I'm, I'm saying that because I don't want to get demonetized, golly. But, uh, probably in that general area, because remember, Mark, either Marco the Painter or... Yeah, I think it was Marco, because he was talking about, uh, like... Nothing, everything over here in the forest is, like, green and brown or whatever, and he's, like, bored of those colors. But, uh, the Die Trader and Marco, I guess we could put them over in the desert, which is even more bland of colors, but whatever. <laughs> Hopefully it'll work. But, uh, there you go. Have some, uh, let's play some torches on the top, too. Uh, there you go. And I don't know if we could actually make like a, a roof out of those like platforms or whatever. There you go. I can see the two new NPCs over there, which is good. So let's actually place down. Oh, I need to make another workbench. I don't think I'm able to do that. Get rid of that torch. Uh, yeah, I don't have enough wood right now. So let's cut down another tree. And if we do that, hopefully there's going to be enough room over here for another uh, one of these other saplings to grow. So that'll be good. So let's place down a... Where are the other work? I had a workbench here just a moment ago. Thought I did. Oh, oh, they still. Oh, I have an. Oh, so I already had one in my inventory as my own personal, like, traveling workbench, and it just kind of stacked up right there, so that's good. But well, we have enough chairs here, which is good, so just put that there. And I wonder if we're going to have yet another person move in now. I'm like, it, it took a little while for the dryad and the clothier to kind of spawn in right there, so I, I doubt it. Let's place another torch here and another torch there. There you go. And let's move Dante and Emily over here now, so. Dante, you know, you, you could be on the top floor, so you're a little bit of far. Okay, that worked right there. Further away from the ground. Oh, and there's the Callista the Dryad, Sebastian the Clothier, or Clothier. I don't know which one it is, but there you go. And then I guess Callista and whatever, they, they could take the empty spots that are, uh, where did he go? Oh, there, there he is right there, Dante. Oh, yeah, I put him right there, Emily, because I wanted him to be far away from the bottom. That way, uh, you know, no one can go and investigate the heckin' illegal stuff he's doing up there, right? Illegal trading. Over here now we have Emily and uh, Dante next to each other. Now we have a uh, who? Which which rooms did they take? Oh, there there's Callista, there's Sebastian. Which rooms did they take up? So Callista, okay, well yeah, the tra uh, die trader's still in my room. Sebastian took up, I think that was Oten's room, right? Okay, and then now we have Dante's room and Emily's room over here. Oh, that's actually kind of coincidental. I did not mean for that to happen, but Emily's room is on the bottom. Dante's room is on the top. I basically took their room here and just kind of moved it over there. That was a coincidence that happened. Sheesh. But now we have it. Let's, let's see what Emily has. Let's get rid of this ruler. I wish there was a hotkey. There probably isn't. I just don't know. Let's see what, she, see what she has to see. See what she has to say about this now. What? Dante's the arms dealer. I don't have a crush. I don't. Shut up. Okay, well, she's not talking about social distancing, so that's good. So I guess we're socially distant away from everyone else over here that they're fine. Now, where's Dante at? Is he? Oh, there. Okay, he's on the top floor right there. Lauren the mechanic. Hey, I thought I killed you, Lauren, but I guess now you're not dead anymore. Hey, okay, well that makes sense. So it takes them a little while to respawn slash they need a space to even spawn at in the first place. But there we go. That's three new NPCs right there, you guys. Jeez, I think Emily the nurse ever, you know. Yes, you see, he he already said that I think at the end of his last statement. But he was, he was complaining about other stuff earlier, like oh I can't trade here or whatever. But now he's not, so that's good. So oh, and then there's. Lauren the nerd, or, uh, the mechanic, I think, right? Yeah, look at that big, like, wrench that she has behind her. She always buy more wire than you need. Let's see what she says in happiness. Everything's working correctly. Oh, me? Yeah, okay, see, she's fine here, which is good. Let's go see what the dryad. So many other crampered in one spot, the grass is doomed. I hate it. So she doesn't, so maybe I'll put her where, which is actually kind of funny. She's got, like, green hair and, like, what I assume is an outfit made out of leaves or something like that. So if I put her where the dye trader and... Marco the Painter are going to be, like, in the desert. Hopefully, they're going to be fine. Hopefully, three people wasn't too big. You know, three's a crowd and whatnot, but hopefully three isn't too big. And hopefully, she likes the desert more than the grass. Okay, well, let's see what she even trades, though. Okay, like, plant stuff. Yeah, like, planter boxes, seeds, grass walls. Okay, sunflower, grass wall. Maybe I'll buy some grass walls from her and build her house out of it. <laughs> Fla yeah, like, grass and flower walls and stuff. Tall grass seeds. Pink flower, red flower, white. I like this. Interesting. So I assume you, just like with an acorn, you just you just click it on uh, grass or whatever, and it'll either grow or it'll automatically like spawn in like a red flower, yellow flower, whatever right there. And I guess Lauren took uh, Emily's old spot right there. Yeah, what does she have to trade though? Hopefully something good. Something mechanical probably, I bet. Shop. Red wrench. Oh gosh, 20 range. What in the world? Places red wire. Oh, this is for like placing wire and wire cutter. I don't know what this wire stuff. I guess. Oh, is that what we saw? For like those traps, like, you guys remember the red line? Is that what? That must have been red wire we saw then, huh? 
And then we have like a mechanical ruler that creates measurement lines on screen for block placement. Don't we already have that up here though? With a ruler? Like what's the point of the mechanical ruler? Engineering helmet, vanity item, one gold. Wire bulb can be placed setups, lights, or bulbs for each wire color. Okay, so I guess I could have different uh, electrical like systems or whatever set up depending on what color I use. Mechanical lens grants improved wire vision. Interesting. So similar to whenever we're like placed down a trap box or dart box trap, we place it down and we're able to see the red wire. I guess this, if I have it, like equipped or whatever. No, it's just a, it's just a material, right? Oh no, these are materials though. Oh, and it's equipable too. Okay, so yeah, if I have it over here, I'm able to see like all the wires and stuff. Okay, interesting. And this is straight up wire, just red wire. And here's a red pressure plate that I guess only activates red wires. A green pressure plate, I assume only activates green wires. And then of course, all the other uh, colors over here too. Uh, teal and all that kind of stuff. Wire cutter, lever, booster track, actuator, enables solid blocks to be toggled on and off. Ooh. So I could have like an elevator or ladder over here. Or you can just have it as an open room or whatever. And a junction box separates wire paths. It's also hammerable. Ooh. Interesting. Now, this mechanical ruler, I don't know if I want to buy it. I feel like it might be a waste of money, but I'm kind of intrigued by it. One four second timer, half second timer activates every half second. So it's kind of like a repeater, I guess. Kind of like for Minecraft. Interesting. So I guess that's kind of like the, the Terraria equivalent of like redstone and stuff. That sounds interesting. Yeah, I'm going to get comments about that too. What about the clothier? Does he actually have armor or is it just like vanity stuff? Black thread, pink thread, familiar shirt, familiar pants, familiar wig. <laughs> so, he, I, I wonder if he trades better stuff in the future, because I don't think I'm ever going to buy any, unless, unless it's like familiar or whatever over here. Overcrowding is as overcrowding does. Okay, so he, once again, does not like the overcrowding stuff, but I wonder if I can move him in over here with like Emily and Dante. Or even move him underground with Simon. You know what? We have room over here. Maybe I'll move the clothier over here. Yeah, like right here, we could move in the clothier. Yeah, like I can get rid of this step right here. Yeah, because we don't actually need these. Oh, whoops. I'm placing torches and stuff now. There you go. I don't actually need those right there. I can just place a cobblestone. If I, yep, there you go. There you go. So now it's a straight path there. And then just continue this, and we could have another room, basically, right? There you go. And we can call this the clothier's room. So let's actually measure this. So how, how wide was this? This is 13, so I guess we'll have it match. So that would be... Uh, there you go. And then go out to... Okay, so hit that wall right there, and we're good. All right. And that's basically it right there. I guess I'll continue mining this and then turn that into cobblestone to make it match. And then I guess we'll move the clothier over here, and hopefully he's going to be fine. So uh, where did the cobblestone go? Oh, there it is right there. All right, let's place these here. There we go. And place another torch there. Make another crafting. There it is. Workbench, whatever you want to call it. Place that there. Place a chair. Get rid of the ruler, golly. And face that way. And we need to... Oh, we need to get rid of the background now. Can I do that still? Hold on, let me get rid of... Okay, yeah, I could do that. And then I can spread it over here. Okay, so that's good. Let me, let me place your uh, backgrounds back there, um, Simon. Almost called you Marco for some strange reason. Sheesh. I feel like we could actually start, like, continue digging down over here and actually have a pretty big area. But I don't, I don't remember if uh, Oten and Simon necessarily said anything about overcrowding and of course if we move the clothier over here he's going to complain about overcrowding if we have too many people so yeah probably don't want to build like a heck of an apartment complex over here with like a thousand people three is probably going to be fine for this specific location and then i guess if we want to move more people into more locations maybe we'll work with uh son's house up above or maybe even emily and dante's although i feel like they might want to be just alone with themselves perhaps i guess we'll find out later but for right now we basically finished that. Seems like the uh, the table, there you go, had a little bit of, uh, there you go, had something under it, so that's good. We got rid of that. Place that back, place the workbench back, and let's place down all the wood backgrounds here, and let's move in the clothier, clothier, whatever you want to call them, into this room. I think it actually physically, it looks fine. The wood actually kind of matches the aesthetic of the underground look, you know, like an underground cabin. I think that's what is the technical name of it, actually, now that I think about it. Because I had to look it up for the video title one time. I think it actually is called an underground or underground cabin or like a cave cabin or something like that. Uh, the ones that have loot in them and stuff like that. But let's move the clothier. There he is right there. Sebastian. There he is. So let's see what he thinks about this now. Is he fine with two people? Where'd he go? There he is right there. Okay, so flower girl over there. We're going to have to move her. 
what's normal anyways. Is that fine? I can't tell if he's fine with that. Maybe I'll move him into his own area and see what he thinks about that. Like, what if I move him, what if I move Zahn from there and then, yeah, like switch, switch places with Zahn and all that. Like, what if I put Zahn, Zahn the, oh, hold on, yeah, let's do, uh, how did I do that again? How did I remember, oh gosh, there's a second layer right there now. I forget how I got rid of someone that one time. Is it this? I think it's already occupied. I forget how I do it. Oh, there you go. So I got rid of it, and then we put Zahn there. And then currently Sebastian has no actual place, but I think he's automatically going to go over to here, right? Reserve for Sebastian the Clothier. Okay, or Clothier, whatever. Let's go see what Sebastian has to say about this now. What's normal? Okay, so he's saying the same thing. Okay, so I guess he's fine with it then. Okay. Let's get rid of that. Let's put you back there. And let's put Zahn back. Up here, okay, so I guess, see his, his, his little phrasing there, I was, I was very confused by that. I didn't know if he was fine with that or not, but I'm glad that I made sure right there, so that's good. 